Hi, uh, I'm Ishan Raghav and I'm a data scientist. I have almost uh, three and a half years of experience. Well, actually four, uh, but relevant experiences of three and a half years. And I have, uh, for, for my background, I have studied uh, mechanical engineering in, and I graduated in 2014. After that, I had completed uh, another data science course uh, in Mumbai. And uh, it was a data science course where we had all the subjects, including machine learning and deep learning. And also there, it was a one year course and uh, it was in 2015, I did it in 2015, 16. And um, what else? I think uh, uh, after that, I've been uh, lucky enough to work in different uh, domains, initially as a data analyst and later uh, a senior data analyst. And then finally in 2017, I worked as a data scientist in a Mumbai based company. And uh, over these years, I have worked on many technologies. Uh, R, uh, for, I learned R and Python both, but uh, initially I used to work with, uh, work on R. Later I also learned Python and started working on those. I've uh, worked on Tableau and also on ma many machine learning tools like Beka. And uh, NLP projects, yes, uh, building recommendation system. And well, that, that is it all about me. So what I found, what I found was uh, that all these courses, they were, had good curriculum, almost covering everything that there is to, uh, you know, in data science, uh, starting from data analytics, uh, learning all the tools and then machine learning, moving on to machine learning. And also they, some of them offered uh, deep learning and neural networks and artificial intelligence. But what I found uh, very surprising was that uh, Physical classes were not so common, of course, because of the whole COVID-19 uh, lockdown and everything. But um, when I met Vignesh uh, in Basin Technologies, uh, first of all, my interaction with him was very nice, very good. He is a lovely fellow. He explains everything very clearly. He has a lot of patience. He listens to your questions and uh, answers them all the answers he, he answered all my questions and it was a very good interaction he is like that uh, friend you can easily talk to and uh, we discussed the whole course he showed me everything uh, that the professor would be taking and what all things how the best part about basin technologies in comparison to other institutes what i found was that the course curriculum was very vast and uh, properly detailed oriented. Also, they have a lot of flexibility. This is the big difference that I found. All the courses here, uh, there are many professors available, all very well, uh, you know, educated and experienced. And also they have relevant uh, experience as because uh, they are all, you know, most of them are working already for big companies, MNCs. So here, the flexibility that I'm talking about is uh, in terms of, uh, you know, if you want something more additional other than say Python, you want to learn more tools or more libraries instead of just learning the initial uh, NumPy and Pandas, if you want more, that can all be, you know, uh, discussed and arranged and you can tell them a week before and they will you know uh, arrange a class for that a professor who can teach you that so this was the big difference that i found and also the timings were uh, very reasonable uh, the, mostly they are in the morning uh, but if in case uh, you miss something they are you know they are flexible enough to arrange uh, another class in the evening or over the weekend and um, yeah i really like that and also when uh, so another one good thing uh, that i would really like to mention here is that uh, from the very f beginning itself you can start uh, applying for companies within 15 days uh vignesh told me that i can start applying and he would he was ready to help me 
and uh, in fact the first day itself the professor also suggested a few companies that i can apply and uh, he was very kind enough to you know uh, arrange uh, calls uh, taking after taking my resume and uh, that is definitely there and also i think i what i believe is in a teacher what you really require is a uh, someone who can you know take out the best out of the student they can understand their potential and take out their best so i remember this uh, in one of the statistics class uh, when he was he would always ask me questions and it was it is a good revision for me too and uh, so at the time i was able to answer the questions and you know all of a sudden he just uh, you know out of the blue he asked ishan if everything you know everything then what is stopping you why don't you just start applying and believe me for a second i did not have a response uh, i was like yeah he's right i mean of course i should start applying it, it's uh, time now i can continue revising i can continue studying and i, I should apply and that is how i started applying and uh, i gave interviews i think i gave two to three interviews before i got uh, a call from um, one of the companies and they arranged a client interview at the first day itself uh, it went excellently uh the he uh, mostly asked questions on uh, sql and uh, tableau which i had learned here and based on that the interview went very well and uh, this has happened for the first time with me that in the first interview itself uh, he selected me he said ki uh, i'm really excited uh, to get you on boarded and uh, yeah <laughs> so after that first interview there were a few hr rounds and documentation and everything got processed and um, i'm really excited to share that i have uh, you know joined the company last week and i've got a very handsome uh, salary package and uh, yeah also a very good uh, interesting job profile in one of the leading banking technologies for the leading banks i think uh, my uh, suggestion for someone who's taking the course uh, will be that uh, from the very first day itself they try to you know uh, capture everything that there is whatever the professor is teaching and then spend at least 2 to 3 hours you know or self time to study all those things and try to be you know uh, moving along with the class and if you're getting stuck you should just you know raise your hand ask tell the professor that you need you need to explain it again i think that is the most uh, precious thing that you can that that will really save you a lot of time and uh, other than that yes you need to revise uh, a lot because uh, you know there's there as i said there's it's a vast course and as you move ahead there will be a lot of things you need to get you know refresh everything so every weekend this is what i do every weekend i try to revise everything that i have learned uh, all the what all assignments we have done so i'll revise those assignments again that really helps and thank you and all the best